We continue with our teaching. Our last uh, Sunday, we are taught about the giving, and today we look about the types of giving. Uh, that's uh, thanksgiving. What is uh, thanksgiving? Why give thanks? When to give thanks? And how to give thanks? And the benefits of giving thanks. Praise the Lord. What is a thanksgiving? In the Bible perspective, thanksgiving means devotion, sacrifice, praise, or an offering. Thanksgiving is to glorify God as at as an act of worship, giving thanks for all things as part of God's providence. In Psalms chapter 50, verse number 14 to 15, it says, Make thankfulness your sacrifice to God and keep the vows you made to the most high. Then call on me when you are in trouble, and I will rescue you, and you will give me glory. So, thanksgiving brings total deliverance from, our, from all our troubles. Why give thanks? Kwanini to Shukuru. Because God want it. Mungu anataka tumushukuru wakati wote. We see the family of one of our choir member kuja kushukuru Mungu. In First Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 18 be thankful in all circumstances, for this is God's will for you who belong to Jesus Christ. I want us to note this. When Paul was Paul was not teaching a, a teaching that we should thank God for everything that happened to us, but in everything. If it does not come from God. So we should not thank him for it. But when evil strikes, we can still be thankful for God's presence and for the good that he will accomplish through the distress. Are we together? When to give thanks? Ni wakati gani tunastahili kumshukuru Mungu? We pursue to give thanks for the food, family members and friends gathers aloud the table in the midst of preparing elaborate meals and navigating family relationship. But giving thanks isn't a, a practice reserved for a single day each year. It has deeper spiritual significance, a benefit that links through a long, uh, links through long after the left, of, the left of us are consumed. Gratitude is heart tenderizer. It keeps our eyes focused on God uh, the source of all good gifts. It keeps our heart open and with open heart the fruit of the spirit uh, that's love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, and self-control have ample room to grow. Praise the Lord. Tuko pamoja. Uh, here are a few examples of thanksgiving in the Bible that have nothing to do with the 
pilgrims or Native Americans, Turkey, name it or touch down. One, thanksgiving when something big happens. Kumshukuru Mungu wakati jabo kubwa limetendeka. The Red Sea just parted. Pharaoh, uh, Pharaoh's army disappeared in its wave and the Israelites stand in a war on other side of slavery. Free at last. Free at last. We see Moses and his sister Miriam sing a song about the victory. Exodus chapter 15 and verse 2. The Lord is my strength and my defense. He has become my salvation. He is my God and I will praise him. My father's, uh, uh, I praise him. My father's God, I will exalt him. Let us note this. Music played an important part in Israelite worship and celebrating. Singing was an expression of love and dance. And it was a, create, uh, a creative way to, first, uh, to pass down oral traditions. Some say this song, was, this song of Moses is the oldest recorded song in the world. It was a festive, epic poem celebrating God's victory, lifting the heart and voices of the people outward and upward after having been delivered from great danger. They sing with joy. Psalms and hymns 